All right, so now we're ready to identify how we calculate the statistic that determines whether an economy is or is not achieving full employment. See, we can say that we want to achieve full employment in an economy, but if we don't know how to, to do a calculation, we can't convince people that, yay, yes, we're achieving the goal, or no, boo, we're not achieving the goal, okay? So what we need is something that indicates whether society is being successful in achieving full employment. And that uh, indicator that we use, we call it the unemployment rate, okay? Uh, so what is the unemployment rate? The unemployment rate, which we're going to refer to as UR for now, is the economic indicator, right? Remember, an economic indicator is a concrete calculation that reflects an abstract concept, okay? So the abstract concept is full employment, and the concrete indicator is the unemployment rate. That measures, it's, it's measuring full employment. It measures a society's achievement of full employment, the degree to which society is achieving full employment. Now, before I give you that formula, and it is a formula because it's a mathematical concrete indicator, there's a couple things that I need you to understand. First of all, the population of an entire country is made up of three kinds of people that we've already discussed. The employed, the unemployed, and all of those people that are not in the labor force. Okay, So if you add up all the people that aren't in the labor force, and all the people who are unemployed, and all of the people who are employed, you will have the population of that country. The labor force is made up of just all those people who are employed and all those people who are unemployed. And therefore, right here, we can take this piece of the population formula, just the employed and the unemployed, they make up the labor force. Now, I want you to know that there's another way that we can calculate the labor force. If you look at this formula right here, what we can do is if we subtract away those that are not in the labor force, right, from the employed and the unemployed, so this is the labor force and this is not in the labor force. Subtract those not in the labor force from both sides, this is algebra here, and what we get is, so we get the labor force. And now the labor force is equal to the population of the country minus those that are not in the labor force. I'm going to put that down here. The labor force is equal to the whole population of the country minus those who are not in the labor force. Okay. And now that we have that, I'm going to give you the formula for how we calculate the unemployment rate. And it's a very simple formula. The unemployment rate for any country is equal to the number of unemployed, the number of unemployed people, right? They don't have a job, but they are looking for work. And then we're going to divide that by the labor force. We're only dividing that number by the summation of those who are employed and those who are unemployed. So I want you to notice that we do not include in the calculation of the unemp uh, unemployment rate, we don't include anywhere in that calculation the people that are not in the labor force. And it's important that you understand that. And now that we have the formula for the unemployment rate, we can do a few examples. All right, so here's an example. We can have, so there are basically six numbers that we, that we uh, can, well, five numbers that we can start with, and then we can calculate the unemployment rate. We can also start with the unemployment rate and calculate some of these other statistics for an economy. In this particular example, the population of the whole country is 310 million. That's very close to what the United States is. Those employed in the economy are 149 million. We don't know how many people are unemployed, but we do know that there are 150 million people that are not in the labor force, okay? 150 million not in the labor force. Now, in order to calculate the unemployment rate, we're going to need the number of employed and the number of people in the labor force, but we were not given either of those pieces of information. However, we can find those pieces of information based on what we were given. 
And we know that, let's start with, um, let's start with the labor force. We know that the labor force is equal to the population minus those that are not in the labor force. So if we take the population, 310 million, subtract those that are not in the labor force, you may need a calculator, but 310 million minus 150 million is 160 million. Because all of these numbers are in millions, you can actually ignore the millions. All you have to do is 310 minus 150 and you get 160. And because they're both in millions, in the units is millions of people, we can just put millions of people here. Now that we have the labor force, now we just got to find the number of unemployed. Well, the number of or the labor force, 160 million, is equal to the employed, which is 149 million, plus those that are unemployed. Okay, so over here, we know that the labor force is 160, and that that's equal to the number of employed, which is 149 million, plus the number of unemployed. So just put unemployed here, okay? So if we want to know how many unemployed, we just subtract 149 from both sides and we solve for the number of unemployed. This is a little bit of algebra, simple algebra. Subtract 149 oops, from both sides, cancel, and we get 11. So 11 million is the number of unemployed. Okay, so we know that there are 11 million unemployed people in this economy. So to get the unemployment rate, we'll divide 11 million by 160 million, okay? So this is gonna be 11 million divided by 160 million. Now we can cancel the units and just do 11 divided by 160. So 11 divided by 160 gives us 0.06875. 06875, which we now need to turn into a percentage. Turn into a percentage. Okay, and so the way we do that is by multiplying by 100 or moving the decimal over two places. So the unemployment rate is 6.875% in this particular economy. Let's do another example. All right, here's another example. This one's a little bit simpler. We're given the number of employed. We're also given the labor force. The labor force is 80 million. There's 72 million people employed in this economy. And so we have the labor force. We have the bottom of the calculation, but we don't have the number of people that are unemployed. But we know that the labor force, 80, is equal to the number of employed, 72, plus those that are unemployed. And so, we can say that 80 million, the labor force, is equal to 72 million, the number of employed, plus those that are unemployed, right? So really now, we did this in the last example, at the end, we just have to uh, subtract 72 million from both sides and we get the number of unemployed. That means that there are 8 million unemployed. That's an easy one. And so now, the unemployment rate is gonna be equal to 8 million unemployed divided by 80 million in the labor force cancel the millions, 8 divided by 80 is the same thing as 1 tenth or 0.1. And turning 0.1 into a percentage is 10%. And so this economy has a 10% uh, unemployment rate. Let's do one more example. All right, I'm going to throw you for a loop in this example. In this particular example, you're given the unemployment rate, which is 5.62%, and you are told that there are 10 million unemployed people. But we want to try and figure out how many people are employed, and we want to answer the question, how many people are in the labor force? And in order to answer this question, we're going to do a little bit of algebra. We're going to use our unemployment rate uh, formula. And so unemployment rate is, the, is unemployed, right, divided by the labor force, and that that is equal to the unemployment rate, right? Now, we know the unemployment rate, which is 5.62%, but we're going to have to first turn that into a decimal. So we've got to move the decimal point over two places. So the unemployment rate is, as a decimal is 0 0.0562. So we're going to 
erase this and we're going to put in 0 0.0562. We know that the number of unemployed is 10 million. So we're going to get rid of that and we're going to put in 10 million. And now for labor force, I don't want to keep writing the words labor force. So I'm just going to put LF, not as two variables, but as a single variable. Now, algebraically, if I want to, this is a denominator, so to cancel a denominator, I want to multiply by the denominator. So I'm going to multiply by LF on both sides, labor force. Here on this side, it's going to cancel. And I now have 10 million is equal to 0 0.0562 times the labor force. And now to solve for labor force, because I want to know what the labor force is, I'm going to, I have this number, this decimal, times labor force. So if I want to isolate labor force as a variable, I have to divide by 0 0.0562. And algebraically, I have to do that on both sides. Divide by 0 0.0562. On the left side, that's going to cancel. And now here, I'm going to do 10 million, but I'm just going to do 10 and then put, a, put the word million on it. I'm going to go 10 divided by 0 0.0562. 0562, and I get 177.9359431. I'm going to round to two decimal places. And so what I wind up with is that the labor force is equal to 177.94. Okay? If you put 178, that won't upset me at all. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just make it 178 million. We'll round to the nearest million. 178 million. So up here, labor force will put 178 million. And we know that the labor force is equal to those that are employed plus those who are unemployed. So if we subtract the unemployed from the labor force, we'll have just those who are employed. So subtract 10 from 178 million, and we get 168 million. And so there are 168 million employed, 10 million unemployed, add them together, and you get 178 million in the labor force. And so you should know how to do an example that looks like this as well. And that's it for the unemployment rate. We only have one segment left to talk about under full employment.